Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and in this video I will show you what is new in VP Rental 3.4. In this update we had two new demos for holiday rentals and we also introduced new cool features such as adult and child separation and trip details information. And next I will make you a quick tour for each new feature. In the first demo we showcase how you can use VP Rentals features and widgets for a single owner rental website. The homepage starts with a listing booking form. We enabled instant booking, so bookings are approved without owner manual approval, but only after the deposit is paid. And in this case, we chose that deposit is paid with BookCommerce supported merchants. We also showcase various widgets to help you present your listing information. We start with with rentals tab widget, we use a gallery element, we use text, icons and more other widgets. What is important to know is that you can use this homepage example and the options enabled in this demo with any other demo too. The second demo is another beautiful example of how you can build your holiday rentals website with VP Rentals team. We start with a video element and the team listing search and then we continue by presenting the team rentals homes, the listing categories, testimonials and a few other widgets. But remember that you can edit the page and modify, delete and add extra information as you please. As a new feature, you can now use adult, child, infant separation for guests in the team advanced search. As you do a search by guest number. And this separation also applies in the listing booking form as you send the booking request. To enable this option, you have to go to VP Rentals Options, Booking Settings and set Yes for the option to enable advanced guest control. If the option is set to No, this will allow you to use the guest as dropdown. For the adult child separation, you can choose to not consider children as guests for each listing. To check this, you edit the listing. In the description section, you have the guest dropdown to select the maximum number of guests. Next to it, you have the checkbox that allows you to not consider children as guests. If you check this and save the option as checked. In the booking form of the property, users can select maximum 8 adults as guests and can select as many children as they want to. Infants will not count as guests by default. Another new feature you ask for is to be able to select a maximum number of extra guests if extra guests is enabled. With adult child infant separation on, this can happen too. And here is an example. I check the option to allow extra guest over capacity. I select three guests. The next step is to set the price for each extra guest. And I do that from price settings. And if you wish, you can set a different price for guests for a specific period too. I will do that as well in price adjustments calendar. As you go to the property page, in price settings, users can see that extra guests isn't allowed, are allowed, and how many guests too. And as the user tries to send a booking request, he can select 8 default guests and a maximum of 3 extra guests. The 8 default guests will be considered in the price per night value, and the 3 extra guests will be built by price per extra guest. Another new cool feature is that now we allow user to check and print the trip details summary after his booking request is confirmed. To show you this feature, first I will send the booking request and I will confirm it by paying the deposit asked. Because in this demo we enabled WooCommerce and instant booking, I can do that without having to wait for owner approval and without having to have an account created first. After I finish paying my booking, it is already confirmed and as I go to my dashboard, my reservations, I can see the trip detail summary next to my invoice details and in the summary I have all the information I need about my booking request and about the property and the owner. I can print this from here and I will also get a copy of this by email too. Before we wrap this video, I want to show you another new feature that improves the UX of the login process. As user logins or as he registers, he can click to view the password he types. We wrap our video for today here. We hope you will like the new team update and stay tuned for the next one. 
And remember to subscribe to Viparentor's YouTube channel to get informed instantly when new videos are added. Thank you for watching.